What's up everyone? It's your boy Inks. I'm back with another quarantine workout video. This is quarantine season. We're all stuck at home. I mean, we could go outside, but then again, you know, um, you can't really do not, like nothing outside besides just go to a park and walk, you know, do your cardio. Obviously, it's important. You know, work out your heart. Um, but other than that, you can't really do nothing else because everything else is pretty much closed. You can only go to the grocery store, like only essentials. You can only do essentials like gas station, supermarkets, whatever, your 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 corner store, whatever to buy some stuff, but whatever. But you can't really do nothing else besides that because everything else is closed. Obviously the gym. So today is push day. Um, I'm gonna be doing some push-ups. Obviously, which is with my pure body weight. I have a weighted vest, but it's in my car. But I'm gonna do that. Once I recover from my chest, so for sure I'll be sore from my chest for about four to five days. So once I recover, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my weighted vest on that day, and I'm gonna do some explosive pushes as well. Cause I do like I like doing the clap pushups, the uh, the Superman's. I know how to do them, right? I really do know how to do them. Um, but I'm gonna do that for another video. But obviously I'm gonna have to do that during the daytime where I don't have to wake anybody up because right now it's late. So I gotta be like quiet <laughs> so i won't be able to do all that crazy shit and you know start slamming my whole body on the floor and everything making a lot of noise so just i'm gonna just stick to the basic uh push-ups but obviously i'm gonna add i'm gonna you know add the uh, the advanced push-ups like the harder ones going from y tiger push-ups you know pseudo push-ups incline push-ups I mean, you name it I'm gonna try to put as much as i can like i'm gonna, like much clips as i can on this video so that we all be able to see and just, you know, see what I do. You know, probably you could learn from that and then maybe you could do it as well. But e either way, I don't really do tutorials. So if y'all want a tutorial, I mean, there's, there's a gazillion, a billion, whatever, you know. There's so many of them on YouTube that literally, if I will make them, if I will make some, I'm literally going to be saying the same shit what they said, but just I'm just going to say it like in my words. So technically, you know, like, I'll be wasting my time. Not really, but like, People just want to learn from a certain YouTuber, but whatever. But it's out there on YouTube, all right? So if you want to learn how to do something, it's out there on YouTube already, and they have great information, and they know how, and, and they know what they're talking about too, all right? Most of them. Some of them, they're just in it for the, you know, for the clout. But anyways, I'm not here for that shit. Let's get started. I'm about to take my time to bleed and my, um, my dead game for pre-workout. I already got my aminos ready, so I was already ready. But yeah, time to take some shots. What's up everyone? So this is pretty much my equipment for tonight. Got my two pairs. I got my uh the Fenix Paralette and I got the Leopard Fitness Paralettes. And I also have a chair, obviously, to do uh incline push-ups. But yeah, let's get it and uh let's get this push day going. Tastes so fucking good. Let's get it.
as you can see, uh, quick recap what I'm where I'm at right now is um, while I'm doing my push-ups, I'm doing different variations of push-ups. I'm not sticking to the same push-up over and over that you probably see from your friends or from other people out there that just post like, you know, just videos trying to show off for flex, but even though they're just doing the same thing. Uh, uh, what I recommend to everybody is that do every single push-up that, you know, that people on YouTube will, is, you know, can teach you. You know, there's so many like how to build your chest better, bigger, whatever. And they're going to show you like a bunch of freaking different variations and moves how to build the chest, all right? So that's what I'm doing. I'm not sticking to the same boring pushes from close to uh, shoulder width and to white grip. I'm doing whatever I can think of top of my head that I know, that I know how to do properly. Because remember, technique is important. Because if you have bad form and you're doing the, uh, you know, the, the exercise, you could go, you could injure yourself, obviously, right? But at the same time, like... What happens is sometimes when you do bad form for so long, your body adapts to it. It adapts to that bad form. And your body, for some reason, thinks that that's the right form. So whenever someone like me or someone that's very advanced is going to start teaching you how to do a proper form, your body's going to feel, you're going to feel weird doing it because you're not used to it that way. So that's just a quick tip. So later on, in case if somebody's trying to correct your form, don't get mad at them, right? Because if they have a better physique than you, you have to pay attention and listen to their advice, okay? I know that by experience, so put your ego to the side or whatever, you know? But remember, uh, form, technique is, is very key for every exercise, you know? For every exercise. So, yeah. Uh, another thing. I'm resting 45 seconds to a minute for my next set. So, for me, I don't go by numbers. I just usually go... For like how many, how much I could do, you know, because I, I like to push myself, I like to push my body, because I'm trying to progress faster and and get better results. But at the same time, I'm not I'm not overtraining to a point that I'm hurting my body. You know, does that make sense? Like in a way, like I know when I'm done. Like my body tells me, or when I'm doing like three pushes or four pushes and I could barely lift myself up, that means I'm already done. You know, the body says, you know what, dude, uh, thank you for the exercise. You did good. So next time, you know, time to recover. So always listen to your body. Whatever you're doing, chest, arms, back, legs, whatever. Always listen to your body. And yeah, pretty much that's it. So I'm going to keep doing some more. Show you all some more random clips what I'm doing. Like, that way you get an idea, you know. If you try to, want, if you want to learn some of these moves, like I said, there's so many videos out there on YouTube that you could, like, find out. Like, you know, for body weight training, I recommend uh, Thenx. Athlete X also does body weight as well. Austin Dunham, uh, I mean, there's, there's, like, there's some, uh, Bar, Bar Brothers, uh, and Normal Beings, who else, like, I know someone, uh, Brandon Mayers, Meyer, something like that, I keep, I forgot, I forgot his last name, but I know it's, um, Br um, Brian, I think, or oh, Brandon, damn, I forgot, <laughs> that's a fail, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, there's just so many YouTube videos out there, you know, I recommend just go check them out. That's where I learned some, and some I learned from the gym, from people that I've seen doing it in person. But yeah, let's keep going and let's, let's kill the chest, let's kill it. And I'm also working on my triceps as well, with tiger pop push-ups, so yeah, let's get it.
Well, there you go, YouTube. There you have it. That's my push day for tonight. Since I had to be quiet, usually I'm more ex I'm more explosive and I make more noise. But you know, I just did what I had to do to just get a good chest and tricep workout. Because when you do your chest, you still work out your tricep. But I like to implement like other workouts that just involve your pure tricep and not mainly dominate your chest. But anyways, um, hope you all you know enjoy this. Like I said, right now I have time. That's why, like, right now I've been uploading more lately. So, for the first video that I did, I know I I, I did it kind of long, which is cool because that's what I wanted in the first place. Because that's just basically my intro for this, you know, quote unquote, a uh, quarantine series. You know, because it's quarantine season, so we're all stuck in here. The gyms are closed, so we got no other choice but to work out in our house, whether it could be in the living room, in your own room, whatever, in the kitchen, whatever. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully this motivates you in a way like I said before health is well you, sh you Your health should be a priority to you because without it You know, you won't be able to function right you get sick a lot, you know Any type of activity you'll do you'll be like out of shape health is well and your health should be priority to you no matter what because without your, your you know without your health, you know to be uh, healthy you, you just can't function right, you know, you're always gonna feel sluggish, you're always gonna feel lazy and all that, you know, I'm pretty sure some of you know what I'm talking about. I used to be that person too, okay? I don't want you to think that I've been a fitness freak. I've been on, I've been only for the past four years, all right, so, you know, that's just whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, stay motivated, you know, stay clean, wash your hands. I already did, you know, I did a 360 hand wash. I already cleaned up my equipment, I put everything away, just like I do the gym, I put my shit away, whatever I use, I put it back. So yeah, I, once I put everything back, I wash my hands, I wash my face and all that, so I'm good. So, you know, stay clean, be safe. I hope this quarantine shit for the coronavirus goes away already, because damn, man, I just want to hit the gym. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. Peace out. I'm out.